Hey, you know, at the onset of the pandemic, a lot of people began receiving the federal unemployment assistance. Uh, that was $600 on top of what you was already receiving on a weekly basis from your particular state. So say if you're in a situation, you get 300 bucks a week from your state. Now you're getting $600 on top of it. You can easily be making 900 bucks a week, being around about $36 or $100 a month. And the greatest thing about that was now you had a situation where people may have been grossing, let's say, $1,500 or $1,000 a month. Now you're making $3,600 a month. And that put that could easily put you in a whole nother tax bracket. And even though tax brackets or high tax income, that stuff wasn't even a factor because people just trying to survive. People are trying to survive. People are trying to have income coming in to sustain themselves and everything. But now since the economy has been leveled off, we've kind of been, you know, going back on an upward track in a recovery mode uh, from the in initial part of the pandemic. Uh now people are looking at going into the 2021 uh, tax uh 2021 calendar year, how that really will impact your 2020 taxes. And here's the deal. Well, people have talked about it, but I don't know if a lot of discussion that went into it. The federal unemployment tax, just like any other state employment tax, is taxable income. Again, that's taxable income. And for the most part, when I say taxable income, you're liable for federal tax on that. Now, the Social Security and Medicare, that's not necessarily a, a part of that, but the federal tax is still being applied to the the six hundred dollar tax benefit that you receive, and what's the significant part part about that is that typical you have a lot of people that were actually you know qualifying making earned income and they were getting refunds because they were making anywhere from you know let's say eighteen to twenty thousand dollars or twenty five thousand dollars a year and getting an x amount of dollars on a certain refund. A lot of that stuff is out of the window now because you have some people that were actually probably making. Fifteen to twenty some thousand may now have made thirty five to forty some thousand, or maybe more than forty thousand, depending on how long you get unemployment uh, assistance on top of what you got at uh, pre pandemic and afterwards uh, after the unemployment benefits ran out. So again, for that portion of time, you probably put yourself in a whole another income and tax bracket. So people that actually have been, you know, expect you know, not necessarily expecting to get huge refunds. But, you know, just re uh, receive a, re uh, a refund or not necessarily thinking about it, they may possibly have a liability. It possibly can happen now. And I want to just, you know, give people, you know, they just the uh, uh, the idea that they may want to start being proactive, you know, reaching out to find out exactly if they have their liability or not. You know, here on Mr. Short Dollar, we talk a lot about personal finance, you know. Uh, uh, taxes and investing and everything, and I always, you know, push people to make sure that they're being proactive in regards to what they're, you know, looking at in, towards the next year or so. So I just want to kind of get everybody that uh that I put that in your in your mind going into the 2021 year, especially with, you know the first quarter when you get your taxes done, that you may possibly be in a situation where you will get a smaller refund or have a tax liability because a lot of people that did receive those unemployment benefits from the federal level, um, I know they probably told, I know, I know they were told that, hey, this is taxable income, but I don't necessarily know if people understand the true impact that that was, uh, that that was well, well put, put on a person because, again, a person normally expecting X amount of dollars in a refund may be uh, uh, required to give X amount of dollars back in the liability. So uh, if you still have any thoughts or questions about that, you know, feel free. You know, we have all the links at the bottom of the page in regards to reaching my office. Got any questions, you know, ask us about the video. But then, again, we're talking about people that did receive those state of uh, the state and federal unemployment benefits. It being taxable income. And now you may be in a situation for a smaller or possibly have a liability in regards to your uh, 2020 tax return. OK. Again, I'm Deontay Burton, a.k.a. Mr. Short Dollar himself. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, Mr. Short Dollar, where we talk about personal finance, business, entrepreneurship, and real estate investment. Best way to stay on top of everything and keep up with the updates, hit that dollar sign in the bottom right-hand corner. Take care.